Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I am now going to be answering question number nine from the February March 2020 IGCSE um, Cambridge CAIE um, paper four. This is from um, this is a paper four, the extended syllabus, and this question here is, um, and this is the 0580 syllabus. This question here is about set notation and Venn diagrams. It says, this year, 40 students have each traveled by one or more of plane, train, or boat. Okay. Seven have traveled only by plane, 11 have traveled only by train, and nine have traveled only by boat. And then it has this uh, little notation. It says, N, P, intersection, T equals eight, and B, intersection, T equals three, and N, B in section P equals 6. Okay, so basically all those 40 students have either traveled by plane or by train or by boat. They're all within these three circles. None of them are outside of these circles. So all of those 40 students must be inside these three circles. That's one thing we can gather from the first um, sentence. Okay, I well, one of these, each of them, okay, all of them. So there's no one who has not traveled by um, any of these three means of transport. Seven have traveled only by plane. That means they haven't traveled by train or by boat, just by plane. So we could actually place these in the Venn diagram because it's telling us to complete the Venn diagram here. So we could place these right away in this section here. I know that the seven people who traveled by plane only, nothing else, and 11 by train, and nine by boat only. So I've placed these in the right place. Um, these areas over here now we want to find the number or we, we, we've been told that the number that travel by plane and train the intersection between p and t is eight so there's eight that is in this area here this eight would be between these two now i don't know how many to put in this section and how many to that in that section right now so that's something which you have to um you know try to figure out Okay, so um, same with the 11 travel by, um, sorry, three travel by boat and by train. Okay, so there's three in this section here. And six travel by boat and by plane. So there's six in this section here. Okay, so it's, it's actually not too difficult for us to find out how, what, what to go in these, in, the, in these areas here. What we could do here is we could um, call this central part X. Okay, this is the, the ones that travel by boat and plane and by train. Okay, so that means that the number in this section here, which are the ones that traveled by plane and by train but not by boat, would be 8 minus x. 8 minus x. So 8 minus x, that means the total here is going to be 8. 8 minus x. So the ones that the ones that travel by plane and by train but not by boat would be you know um, x less than 8 and same here the ones that travel by boat and by train all together is 3 so this must be 3 minus x and the ones that traveled by boat and by plane okay but without uh, traveling by um, by train basically okay the ones that travel by boat and by plane but not by train is going to be 6 minus x okay so we got those filled in in terms of this, this one in the middle, which is common to all of them. Now, how do I find the one in the middle? Well, I know that the sum of all of these is 40. So if I add all these together, I'm going to get 40. So I have 7 plus 9 plus 11. So this plus this plus this. Plus all of these, which is going to be 8 minus x plus 6 minus x plus 3 minus x plus the x in the middle. All of those add up to 40. Okay, so we have here, if we think about the x's, we got, uh, well, let's start with the number. 7 plus 9, that's 16. Plus 11, that's 27. That's 35. 35 plus 6 is 41. Plus 3 is 44. So you have 44. Then you've got minus x, minus x, minus x, plus x. Well, these two cancel out. That's minus 2x equals 40. So I can say that 44 minus 40 equals 2x so 4 equals 2x 
that means x equals 2. So I can see here that this is 2, therefore this is 6, therefore this is 1, and this therefore this is 4. Okay, so now I can fill in the spaces with what I need. I know that this is 2, and this is 8 minus 2, so that must be 6. And that's 3 minus 2, so that must be 1. And that's 6 minus 2, so that must be 4. And we can make a quick check to, to see that we've done the right thing. Um, they must all add up to 40. So we got here, that's 10 plus, uh, that's 10 plus 9, that's 19, 20, 29, 29 plus 11 is 40. 29, 30 plus 10, 40. So we know they add up to 40, so we kind of can be resting assured that we're on the right tracks. Okay, so that's how you complete the Venn diagram. Now, it says, uh, so that's part A done. This says, find the number in P union B complement. So P union B in brackets, all in brackets, complement. So it's basically the ones outside P union B. So if I, if I look at what P union B complement is, first P, P union B is all of P and B, all of P and B. Complement means everything outside of P and B. So it's basically just these, these 11 here. It's just these, these 11 here are the ones that are outside of P and B. Now, if there were certain things outside of the three circles, okay, so somebody who didn't go by plane, boat, or train out of those 40 students, then they would also be included. But there's nothing outside these circles, so it's just 11. 11 are the people that are didn't go by plane and didn't go by boat. Okay, they didn't go by either plane or boat, those, those 11, because they're, they're the ones that went by train only. Okay, so that's the answer to that question there. And then it says, use set notation to complete the statement P union T union B complement. So what does that mean? Well, P union T union B means everything inside P and B and T. And complement means the opposite or outside of that. So we want to have what, everything that's outside of P union T union B. Well, there's nothing outside of it. All of the 40 students went on one of these three means of transport. So none of them are, is outside. So that's called an empty set. An empty set is denoted by this symbol here. Um, this symbol here. It's like a zero with a line through it. Or you could even use a bracket, which is a squiggly bracket, which is open and it's empty. Okay, this I prefer to use, but that either of them is fine. So this is set notation to complete the statement. We're showing that this is an empty set. There's nothing inside that set. Okay, it's empty set. There's no items inside that set whatsoever. Okay, so now that's answer to question 9A and B and C. Now for part D. It says two students are chosen at random. Calculate the probability that they both have traveled only by plane. Okay, I'm going to bring over the uh, diagram, the Venn diagram to help us here. Okay, so here we have the Venn diagram. It says, calculate the probability, or first of all, it says, two students are chosen at random. Calculate the probability that they have both traveled only by plane. Okay, the ones that have traveled only by plane are these seven. And so the first student, the probability that you pick the student and he's traveled only by plane out of all of those students is seven out of 40, because there's 40 altogether. Okay, however, once you've picked the first student, now there's only 39 students remaining and there's only six students left who have traveled only by plane. So the probability that they have both traveled only by plane is going to be 7 over 40 times 6 over 39. And then we can write down our answer. We can stick that in our calculator and write down our answer. So we have 7 over 40 times 6 over 39. And that gives us 7 over 260, and that's the answer for this part, 7 over 260. Okay, that's the answer to that question there. Okay, now for part E. It says, two students are chosen at random from those who have traveled by train. So let's just take this down here now. Calculate the probability that they both have also traveled by plane. Okay, so now we're only considering those people who have traveled by train. We're only looking at those people. We're not looking at the whole set 
of people. So if we think about just the ones that travel by plane, uh, it's going to be just the ones in this, by train, sorry. Okay, the ones that are um, basically in this circle here. Okay, those are the ones that travel only by train. So we're only considering this circle and we're not considering any of the others. So our initial denominator is going to be the sum of all of these ones that travel by train. Now we can say the probability of, of traveling or not, or the number of people that travel by train, we could say. The number of people that travel by train is 17 plus 3, that's 20. Is that right? That's 3 plus 9, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so there's 20 people and, okay, calculate the probability that they have also traveled by plane. So the ones that have traveled by train, okay, out of those, eight of those have traveled by plane, these six and two. Those eight have also traveled by plane. I'm not considering these, these, these seven and this four here because we're only considering those who travel by train. That's our main uh, kind of like um, sample set now. We're only looking at those. We're not looking at any of the others. So eight out of those who travel by train also travel by plane. That's eight over 20 for the first one. And then there's 19 of them left for the second one. And there's only seven of those who have traveled by plane left in those second group. So we can just use this to um, find our answers. We have 8 over 20. So this time we have 8 over 20 multiplied by 7 over 19. And that should give us 14 over 95 is our answer. Okay, so there we have the answer to part E. So that answers, I think, the whole of this question. That's the end of the question number um, nine. Um, any other questions from this paper you want to see, you'll find in the playlist, which, are, which should appear in this area over here. Questions from the topic of set notations and Venn diagrams will appear in this playlist over here. Um, I'll probably put probability playlist here as well, um, because it's got something to do with probability as well. You can uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already by clicking on this link and on the top of the page you will find a link taking you to a different paper for that you might want to watch. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood and hope to see you soon.